Hi Paper Crafters! Today I'm going to create a holiday project using one of my favorite color combinations, which is white and blue. This is going to be a placement card plus a matching party favor box. I'll be using three different die sets from a Sweet Christmas collection by Sharon Sowell, and these are the dies that I'm going to use. Mistletoe Gatefold, From Our Home to Yours, and Mistletoe Doily. This die is mistletoe gatefold. Here is the actual die cut. It is supposed to be creased like that, and the strip is actually for applying adhesive. But I'm going to use it a bit differently to create a placement card. I'm going to use a 6x6 sheet of pearlescent specialty cardstock. This one is by Tonic Studios, and I'm going to fold it in half. Then I'm going to place it onto the surface and I'm positioning the die on top of it. I'm making sure that the die overlaps the fold a little bit. This way the two pieces of cardstock will stay connected after I send them through the die cutting machine. Then I'm going to clear all the negative pieces and this is the shape that I should get. In this project, I need that strip at the bottom to write down the names of the guests. You can use this placement card as it is, but I'm going to add a little bit more to it. So I'll be using the mistletoe doily set. It includes three dies, and uh, this time I've taken out the background and the frame out of blue and white cardstock. Then I'm going to attach the frame to the background. The edge of this die is quite organic, it's not symmetrical, so make sure you align the edges properly. Then I'll be attaching uh, the circle to the card. You can place it in the middle, but I think it looks better when shifted to the left. I'm applying a bit of liquid glue to where the circle is supposed to go, and then I'm placing it on top. This sack is from the set called From Our Home to Yours. It also includes this Santa holding a coffee cup plus a bunch of sentiments. For this project I'm going to use this sack with gifts because it fits perfectly inside the circle. To write down the name on the card I'm going to use a glitter marker. This one is by Nuvo and uh, the color is Imperial Blue. By the way, if you don't feel like writing, you can simply print out the names, then cut the paper into strips and stick it down. To embellish the card, I'm going to use some silver confetti sequins. I'm sticking down to the berries on the pattern. Since I don't want this sack to be floating in midair, I'm going to apply some glitter paste to create the ground. I'm applying it with a spatula below the sack as well as at the sides. As the last finishing touch, I'm going to add some tiny snowflake sequins around the sack. The glitter paste is not yet dried, so I'm placing the snowflakes on top of it and pushing them to stick. That finishes the card, and now I'm going to show you really quickly how I made a matching chocolate bar holder. It's really simple. I'm folding a 6x6 six six sheet of paper in half, just like I did for the card. I'm gonna be using a mistletoe doily set again, and this time I've die cut a decorative insert. Then I'm attaching this intricate insert on top of the plain background. This time I'm also going to attach a sentiment. This married die is from the same set that uh, the set comes from. I am layering three die cuts to create more dimension, the topmost one being die cut of silver mirror cardstock. 
You can see that I have already attached the sequence for the berries and now I'm adding the sentiment in the center. To assemble this chocolate bar holder I'll need two pieces of ribbon. The white one is uh, 24 inches and uh, the blue one is 20 inches. I have folded the white one in half and then I have attached it only to the front of this card. Then I'm sticking a piece of blue ribbon right on top of the white one. And then I'm applying some hot glue onto the medallion and uh, sticking it on top of the ribbons. I'm adding a couple of glue dots inside the card to prevent the chocolate bar from sliding off. Then all there is left to do is to tie a bow and my project is finished. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, thank you for watching and I wish that you have a lot of fun preparing for this year's holiday season.